going on guys? Del, we're here for T3G along with. Harris. And we're about to go into AMC here to check out Deadpool. Yeah. I'm pretty psyched. I'm crazy psyched. I'm thinking best movie. Maybe not best movie of the year. Not best movie of the best year. Best movie. Best, best comedy superhero movie. Definitely best comedy superhero best movie. Comedy superhero if movie. not best comedy. But we'll give you guys our uh, basically first impressions right after the movie. Yeah, we're so. going come back, to come back right outside and give you guys the review. We'll see you in a second. Deadpool spoiler review. Now, if you see, you have not seen this movie and you don't want to be spoiled, click away. We got a quickie review that's probably before this. But if you have seen this movie and you want to hear our thoughts, here they are. Yep. It's going to be fucking amazing. Oh honestly, my god, honestly, hilarious. I don't even have to talk about spoilers because there's not one specific thing that I want to bring up. This entire movie is just simply great. It's hilarious. Listen, it's not a phenomenal movie in any means of like, oh my god, it's it belongs in the Oscars or anything like that. No, but this movie makes you laugh. It makes you love the action. Extremely there's fun. Great action. Honestly, for a $30 million movie, I'm impressed. Absolutely. Listen, this movie proves to everybody else who's making superhero movies that you don't need that kind of budget. Just saying. It was here's the thing, it's such a fun movie. Like you you look at other movies like, you know, other X-Men movies or, or you know, Marvel movies, DC movies, there's always like something, right? There's there's like a spoiler. Right. I mean, they really laid this out at the at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, he's going after they call him, his name is Francis. Yeah. They, he's going after Francis because he kidnapped his girl. Well, initially to fix his face so he can go back to his girl. Right. Then he kidnaps his girl. Right. Which is all in the trailers, essentially. Uh, you you see a lot of it definitely in the trailers. Uh, me, personally, the way it played out was perfect. Yeah. The way they did that's the, the thing story is, was perfect. That's the thing. Like You knew he was going to save her. You knew he, like, this is stuff like, like as any movie goer, any movie watcher ever, you know these things are going to happen because it's that kind of movie. Like, he's going to, you know, he's going to save her. Yeah. He's going to, he's going to get the guy eventually. Like, there's not really anything to spoil. Like, that's it what happens. Really is. The whole thing, the whole greatness of this movie is how it executes. Because that's the thing. This is why I watch, this is why I don't care. Like, when people tell me spoilers about movies that I haven't seen yet. I don't care personally because I then need to know how that happens. Like right. the story, how that happens. Yeah. Like for me to tell you, okay, well he saves the girl and he kills the guy. Right. Oh, fucking That's shocking. The guy who to... kills everybody in the trailer kills the guy he's going after and he saves the girl. Nah, man. Like that's it. There's not a thing to spoil. I mean, there's like the post credits, but that was already spot. I Listen, saw there, spot I will say this: there is a post credit, so make sure. Well, if you're watching this, you've already watched right. it, but you might have to go back because you didn't stay through it. So, yeah, uh, in post credits. Sense. Post credits is very. I mean, it's it's funny. It's yeah. not ridiculous. Listen, and it's like a quickie, wall, like a little. Hey, speaking of the uh, the the post credits, the fourth wall breaking is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, there there's no. It's, it's kind of it's kind of like a voiceover because here's the thing we've seen other movies where they do like a voiceover yeah, yeah, yeah. where he's where you're, somebody's talking to the audience yeah um, so this it's not really any different than that it's just that it happens in the moment yeah it's uh, honestly I don't know what to say I mean there's nothing to spoil unless we tell you step by step how the right. movie plays yeah, which exactly. is we're not gonna do that listen. The acting out of everybody is good acting. It's not phenomenal or anything like that, but it's definitely really good, if not great, for what the movie is. Yeah. Uh, the comedy is... Listen, I've seen some reviews. We were just talking about that. We've seen some reviews where some people are saying that it falls flat after the first 20 minutes or something like that. I don't know what anybody was watching, but that is not the case no. whatsoever. No. I comedy is consistent. Action is consistent mm -hmm. throughout the entire movie. I I mean, there's going to... Listen, it's a rated R movie. There's going to be blood, there's going to be profanity, and there's going to be it's nudity. not even like and it's, it's like not obscene over the, It's amounts. not over the top. Listen, you want to talk about blood and gore and violence, watch the, uh, the most recent Punisher movie that came out. That thing is blood everywhere, and this is nowhere near that, yet it's still tons of fun, and there's still that Absolutely. violence. So it's like... In my opinion, I don't know what any... If you don't like this movie, I don't know what you want. The people that make movies don't know what you want. Exactly. I, I completely agree. Sorry. I think this is going to be... For anyone over the age of 17, anyone over the age of like 12, I mean, is yeah, going to love sure. this movie. And if you don't, you're either... I'm sorry. You're either too snobby and you're looking for something out of these movies that they're just not going to deliver. Sorry. 
or you don't know what the fuck you want. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm judging your life without knowing you, but if you do not like Deadpool, who the what the fuck are you doing with your life? Yeah, what absolutely. What the fuck are you doing? With your I, life? I truly don't. I, I truly don't understand what more you want. You're not gonna get like a uh, Oscar winning movie. Sorry, I mean the Star Wars. Right. Once again, another great movie that people were like, oh, it wasn't good because of this, this, and this. I don't know. Like I said, if you don't like these so far, these two movies, especially this one. I personally don't know you as a person. I don't know what you want out of a movie. Yeah. You're not going to get The Revenant out of a comic book movie. Sorry. That's not going to happen. If that's what you're looking for, it ain't happening. I would say that um, the one, like, 20s movie with Tom with uh, Tom Hanks, Road, Redemption. Road of Redemption. I see what you mean. So but I'm, that's talking, based on I'm talking about this but, kind of yeah, comic but like, book movie. But like, again, that's based Deadpool. on a comic book that's not that's not, not action movie. That's it's not, not an Deadpool. action comic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're um, looking at a superhero-ish guy or yeah. character, and you're looking for like Oscar-winning performances. I just this is not the type of film that you're going to see it in. No, no. So at all. you're going to see. Listen, am I saying that in any way that anybody's Acting was Acting bad? Was no, not no, at all. It was not excellent. All. It was no, excellent. It was perfect for I, the movie. I, there was one moment where I kind of connected in my brain, oh, that's uh, that's the chick from Gotham. Right. That's the only time. And that was just like me thinking. It yeah. was all it was. It was just like, it wasn't like, oh, like she's not doing her job. It was just like, oh, yeah, also the chick from Gotham. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then I continued and she was Vanessa the whole time. Listen, Ryan Reynolds plays this role to a T, but that's because he's even said it and this is fags that's coming out of his mouth. He was born to play that role. This absolutely. is his role. It's hilarious. I, I truly don't know what else to say. Right now, at the current moment, Definitely number one comedy, but it's only February. But I yeah. don't see anybody really. I mean, I that was hilarious. I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone. That was hilarious. I laughed most of that movie. Not the entire time, but most of that movie, I laughed, and but there then, was a but, lot of parts right. that I almost blacked out laughing. Yeah, because oh that's God, how ridiculous so it was. I so feel <laughs> your poor wife. <laughs> that was <laughs> <laughs> your poor wife. Oh, Christ. Um, this is great stuff. Yeah, no, everybody great, does great a great stuff. job. Uh, honestly, I'm not, uh, you know, from the stuff I've seen from TJ, I'm never, I've never been, like, laughing, but he did a great job in there. He you did a great job as that character. He did, he did a great job as that character, but to me, is like, he wasn't even, I, 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 he wasn't really written as, like, crazy comedic or anything. No, 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 no. He was no. just kind of had some good liners. Yeah. And he was that supporting... Supporting actor. Yeah. I mean, and he wasn't even in there that much. Like, he wasn't no, in really. there a lot by any chance. Listen, the movie is about Deadpool and you get Deadpool. Yeah, absolutely. Period. Absolutely. Colossus. Overall, the CG on Colossus was okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it was great. It was it was okay to good. Um, but I love the voice and I love the fact that there was a little comedy from Colossus too. So yeah. So that was, that yeah. was great. Yeah. Um, Honestly, I don't. I don't know what else to say, man. Yeah. I truly don't know. If you don't like this movie, I don't know what you want. I I, I, I don't love think it. anybody knows what you I want. I love it. You know I want them movie. to integrate this character into more X Men movies. Wherever the X Men franchise continues after Apocalypse, right? It, I hope they bring it forward. And I hope they bring and it forward. Don't say that they can because they can. Deadpool movies can be rated R. Everything else can be PG thirteen. They can definitely do it. He can do his comedy you, without bleep having them. just bleep yeah. him, and that's the joke. And that's the joke. Like you can literally bleep him out, and he would look at the camera and be like something along those lines. He would point it out. It's it's it would work perfectly fine. He, they can definitely do it. It's listen. This movie cost thirty million to make. Fox didn't lift a damn finger for no. anything on this I, movie. It, it, just, so, just, so, just so people are confused. Because it's people that 20th Century like, Fox at the beginning, and I was like, had nothing to do with yeah, this movie. People are, seem to be confused, and they're like, oh man, Fox really like the the advertising for this? They had nothing. They gave That's why they gave him $30 million, because people are like, you know what, we'll give you $30 million, because even if it loses money, we don't care for $30 million. That's essentially yep. what that was. That's exactly and what you know what he did? They demolished. I hope they make a billion dollars. I truly do because they deserve it. For 30 million dollar movie, this was unbelievable. They deserve a billion for that 30 million. Absolutely. And I hope I hope Ryan Reynolds' contract states I get 50% of the profits from yeah. from this movie yeah. because fuck you, Fox. No, seriously, this was this was amazing. Thank you Ryan Reynolds for this 
this movie. This movie needed to happen. It took 10 years, but it happened, and it happened amazingly. Yep. Seriously, I just don't know. I don't know what I else to say. I love it. There's nothing else to say. There really is. Absolutely isn't. go see it. If you haven't, for some reason, and you're watching spoilers, I don't know why. But, but you know, we, didn't okay, spoil, we really we didn't, didn't say anything. anything. It's like, oh, so it's like the spoilers. shit happened that you expected to happen. So it's like, oh, is it predictable? Well, yeah, so is every fucking movie. I will say this. <sighs> I will just say this. Um, the only thing that I kind of wish was a little different was his healing factor in this movie. So I guess we can spoil that. When he gets his hand cut off, mm-hmm. I kind of feel like it should have grown a little faster. Even though the scenes were funny yeah, with less, it. It took less than a day. I know, but I kind of... I feel like it would be faster. Like, from, from what I've seen in the cartoon and from what I understand, he would be regenerating a little faster than that. Maybe it just but, grows over time. I mean, but at the same time, he's still like new. Yeah, he's only had it for a year, so maybe his body's still developing that ridiculous healing factor. Listen, on top of that, they'd even mention it's killing your cancer cells before they can regrow. So it's doing so the ca- that. the cancer's constantly yeah. growing. It doesn't cure the cancer. Right. It's just healing the cancer constantly. That's exactly. actually where his appearance comes from. And sorry about that light, guys. Yeah, seriously. We're, we're doing it right in the car. And yeah, we're, we're just yeah, we're in we're, the parking lot. We're trying lot, to figure so. this out, but we wanted to get our thoughts out right away. But honestly, there isn't, there isn't anything to spoil. There, Everything you know about Deadpool and everything that you've possibly seen in the trailers basically tells you what it's going to be about. Essentially, it's just watching how that plays out, and it plays out awesome. That's literally the point of this movie is how it plays out and how everything works, and it works. Absolutely. It just works. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Nothing was over the top. The blood, the violence, the, the profanity. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing was over Listen, the top. Listen, he's a mercenary, and he lives a really shitty fucking life, so you can't expect him to be calm yeah, or no, to, not, to not use curse words. Right. Like, he's... He's a war veteran. Right. He's in dishonorable discharge. So he's had a shitty fucking life. You're, he's got to be cussing. Honestly, I'm done. I, don't I got nothing else to say. Go, go see, see the damn movie. If you've watched this and you haven't seen the movie, go see the movie. If, if you, you missed the back, this, if you missed the post credits, go go see it again. Go see the post Give this movie, give this movie all your money. We're gonna go back. This movie maybe, deserves to maybe tomorrow. Break, break, who knows? Break uh, budgets so that way uh, Fox can realize how wrong they were this entire time. Yeah, decimate. The, when you got please people, decimate the box office. When you with got this movie. people that love a character that push for it, let them do it because most likely they know what they're gonna do. Yep. Agreed. Simple as that. Go see the movie. Appreciate you guys for watching. As always, I've been Dalbor. Harris. See you guys again.